I'm going to do four battery runtime tests using the Dewalt 2 amp and a 6 amp battery pack and show you everything you need to know about using the Dewalt battery adapter for the Dyson V8. Voltage will be measured before and after each test to make sure the battery pack does not get fully discharged. This is the runtime data I collected just in case you can't finish the whole video. My analysis can be found at the end. Installation is super easy, only three screws to take off to remove the original battery and install this adapter. When the indicator shows red, it means the battery is about to be depleted. I can also use the integrated battery indicator on the Dewalt battery itself to check the battery level. After installing this adapter, it will no longer fit the original wall mount. It can only be recharged using the Dewalt battery charger. This type of video takes a lot of time and effort to do. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. The first test starts with a three years old two amp battery at 20.51 volts when it's fully charged. I put a piece of tape around the trigger so it's always depressed. The time lapse is recorded using a GoPro with the timer on the screen. Oh, the motor stopped at this point. I'm not sure if it is already broken. This brush head is completely dead. In order to continue the test, I'm using another brand new brush head. The 2 amp battery lasted 18 minutes and 2 seconds on the low setting. I think you should be able to get around 20 minutes if the battery is brand new. After the vacuum stopped automatically, I measured 16.47 volts. This is good because it means the adapter has a pretty high cutoff point to avoid deep discharging that may damage the battery. Considering 15.3 volts is considered fully discharged by Dewalt. On the high setting, it only lasted 3 minutes. 18 volts. I think it can still keep going, but I think it's a better idea not to push it. A freshly recharged 6 amp battery, 20.72 volts. The 6 amp battery lasted 1 hour and 1 minute on the low setting. This is more than enough for daily use, but it's also heavier. The cutoff voltage is 15.68 volts. The 6 amp battery lasted 16 minutes, 2 seconds on the high setting. Both vacuum and the battery gets warm. 16.43 volts. Here's a summary of all the runtime data I collected. I think Dyson V8 has a 400 watts motor. As you can see, the 2 amp battery is good for some light use, but if you have carpet and need to engage the high setting, the 6 amp battery is the way to go if you don't mind the added weight and size increase. I think the 2 amp battery may be slightly weaker than the Dyson original battery pack. However, it is super lightweight. I think maybe 3 to 4 amp is the sweetest spot. The adapter is 109.4 grams or 3.8 ounce. Dyson original battery pack weighs 532.7 grams. The Dewalt 2 amp weighs 357.5 grams or 12.6 ounce, 18.8 ounce. The 6 amp battery is 951.3 grams or 33.5 ounce. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful. Please smash the like and subscribe.